friends welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you the Manos AI platform here guys and as you can see here at first glance guys it is a wonderful platform here in the center here you have basically where you can type your prompt so you can ask it what is Manos and basically it will tell you what is Manos right now let's go ahead and explore more as it continues to think and tell us what is Manos now on the lower left hand side you see here on the prompt here let me go ahead and stop this prompt for a time for the time being and you will see that you can easily easily go ahead and share or replay a task at any point in time you can you can share it you can basically view all files if there are some tasks there you can add to favorites you can even uh, see more option to rename the task if you so desire on the left hand side you can quickly do a new task if you want to do something new and right here you can see immediately that you have the option to attach files if you want to attach some file and work on some file you also have the language models you have the standard and the i effort one whichever one you want to use below that you have some different use cases so you can quickly go ahead and choose different use cases that you want to use manus for you can go through the featured one the research the life the data analysis education productivity and you have wtf if you want to see more you can simply click on explore more and it will take you over to the manus website where you can easily click on any one of these tasks so let's say i want to use something within research i can quickly go ahead and i can click on whichever one and i can see basically what manus is actually type in to be able to see it. so you can quickly see the use case and it will quickly run through and show you what it is used for now if you look at this use case guys you can see it on the right hand side that manus is actually showing the computing and this is something that manus actually does once you're currently using manus so whenever you give manus a task you can open up the right hand side and watch what manus is doing in real time and i'm going to show you how that actually works in a bit all right you know what i'm going to show you in later videos so if you want to learn how to use manus go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can learn how to basically use manus and see all of those amazing features to come now guys let's head back over to the manus ai dashboard now now that you're here guys i want to show you a bit more around what manus looks like now if you look towards the lower left hand side you will see your account and if you hover over that you have the quick option to sign out you have a settings you have the account you have the credits and here you can see how much credits you have by default on the free plan manus give you 1000 credits to basically use per month so if you want to upgrade you click and simply click and upgrade and you can easily get two options here you have a manus starter which is 39 dollars per month and you have the manus pro which is a bit more expensive which is 200 which is almost 200 dollars per month but you can see the vast amount of credits that you will get based on whichever option you choose and you can run two or five tasks concurrently simply means that you can do multiple things at the same time with manus if you have one of those plans obviously with a free plan you can only do one task at a time now let's get back into the menu option so if i click account here you can see immediately that it shows me my manus account you have the option to edit it this option allows you to delete your account so if you want to delete your manus account you can simply click and delete from there you also have the you also have the option to sign out or log out from Monos from here as well. Here is your credit, so you can easily see how much credit you're using. You can easily see how much credit you have left. But I'm going to show you a better way how to actually see credits. Now, if you click in usage, you can see the task that you run and how much credit that specific task take. The bigger the task, the more credit it will actually take. So keep that in mind. So here you can see the plan. You can see the credits you have remaining and how much credit a specific task take. Now, the next thing is the general option. Here you can quickly change the language for Manus. So let's say I want to quickly switch to French. I can quickly select that and as you can see quickly, Manus is now changed to French. Now let me go back into my account here and I can quickly go ahead, go back to general and put this back in English. Now you can also switch between the light mode or the dark mode for Manus. So if you want to switch between light or dark mode, you can simply switch it here, dark mode, light mode. So whichever option you want, you can simply go ahead and switch Manus from there. And that's basically what you have from the option menus, guys. Now, once you're out of the settings here, at the right hand side, you have feedback. You have basically the official website. You can install the Manus app by scanning this QR code here, or you can simply add knowledge. And I'm going to show you in future videos how you can easily go ahead and add knowledge. All you need, if you click on add knowledge is to simply give it a name 
when to use a task and basic instruction what you want this to do and simply click and add now if you want to learn what is knowledge and how to use them and how to add them then if you want to learn that stick around and go ahead and subscribe to the channel so that you can learn when i release a future video on how to basically add knowledge in manus ai but in a nutshell guys that's basically it this is the wonderful platform of manus and i've been testing it to do quite a lot of things so if you want to learn that guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video